Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to share with you what I believe is the simplest and fastest way to make money online this year and pretty much every year that follows with zero risk to you, even if you're a complete beginner. So I know that sounds hypey, but I've been using this strategy for the last three years now to generate multiple six figures a year. I believe that anyone, even if you're just learning a new skill, can pick this up, can run with it, and in a pretty short period of time, can be making a full-time income or more, depending on how determined you are and how fast you are working. So you might notice the scenery is a bit different. I'm gonna be filming here for the next few videos. This is my parents' home. This is the room that I actually grew up in, so uh, that's why the scenery looks a bit different. But I wanna to talk to you about this strategy today, how to make money online the fastest way possible with zero risk to you, even if you're a beginner. Let's jump into that right now. So this whole business model, what are you gonna be doing here is you're gonna start a service-based business, an online service-based business. So all this really is, you are learning a skill, you're offering that skill to businesses and getting paid for it. And that's how you can get started with your online business. And I believe this is the simplest and fastest way to get started because there's no capital required. You don't have to invest in paid advertising or any of that crazy stuff. You just go out to businesses and you go out and help them. So let's walk through these steps right now. Step one in, this, in starting a service-based business is learning a money-making skill. Now, money-making skill is exactly what it sounds like. It's a skill that helps businesses or individuals make more money. Now, why do you wanna do this? Why do you wanna learn a money-making skill over something else, maybe like a creative skill or something that is not as tied to sales or revenue? Well, we wanna learn a money-making skill because if you can help a business increase the amount that they're making, what do you think is gonna happen? Well, they're gonna be willing to pay you more because you're making them more money. So if we can learn a money-making skill, that's the fastest and easiest way to go out to businesses and be like, hey, I have this skill that can help you increase your sales. Let's talk about working together. It's the easiest way to go out and get hired and get paid a lot by clients is to learn a money-making skill. Now, the money-making skill that I recommend that I'm gonna be talking about through this video is email copywriting writing simple fifth grade style emails that sell products and services either for yourself or other businesses. Now you can take this skill, it's an amazing money-making skill because it's, it's simple to learn, you don't have to have a writing background. In fact, it's probably better if you don't because these are simple fifth grade emails and not formal um, writing. So you can take this skill, you can go to businesses and say, hey, I can help you increase your sales by writing better emails and they're gonna pay you either, you can set this up on a percentage basis, you can set this up on a retainer, but you're helping them increase their sales by sending simple emails. So that's step one, learn your money-making skill. My recommendation is email copywriting. Step number two is to practice the skill. Get good at the skill, right? It's, it's one thing to learn it, it's another thing to put it into action and actually start practicing and doing it consistently. So let's go back to email copywriting. Another reason I like email copywriting is it, it doesn't take you any money to practice this skill. You can just take out a, a sheet of paper and start hand copying emails from some of the top email copywriters, right? People like Ben Settle or Matt Fury. You can get on their email lists, you can get their emails every day, and you can hand copy their emails so that you get in the habit and get into the flow of how an email is laid out. Or you can get on my email list, right? Go to seananthony.co, you can get on my email list for free there. So it's very easy for you to jump on people's email lists and practice your email copywriting skills by just hand copying out emails. And then also what you can do is, let's say that you wanna work with a specific company who's selling a certain type of product, you can pretend that you're already they already, you already have them as a client and you can pretend that you're writing emails for one of their products. And doing this, you can actually build a portfolio of samples before you even have a client. So you're practicing your skills, you are putting it down on paper or on online and you can actually use a Google doc to do this and you can write out a few sample emails before you even get a client. And that's why I love email copywriting as a skill because it doesn't take you anything to practice as opposed to something like Facebook ads. You have to spend money to learn it and practice that skill on a daily basis. And if you don't have money, well, it's, it's a lot harder to practice that skill, right? So email copywriting, again, um, I think it's the best skill here to learn and to, to practice because it costs you nothing to do that. Now, step three is to get paid for that skill what we're all waiting for, right? But you have to have the skill first. So once you've learned the skill, once you've practiced it, maybe you have a few samples written up, you can start reaching out to businesses who need your help. Now, a few ways you can do that is cold email, right? Sending cold emails to businesses who fit your ideal client profile, meaning let's say you're targeting accountants. You wanna build a list of accountants, emails of accountants, and reach out to them telling them what you can do. Another place you can reach out is on social media. 
Facebook groups are a great way to find niches that need your services, right? Let's say you're writing for e-commerce stores. You can find e-commerce Facebook groups, add people in those groups, provide value in those groups, and reach out to people who might need your help. The third place, and this is somewhere that not a lot of people look, although there's tons of people hiring for your skill set, is on job boards, places like Upwork, maybe places like AngelList, LinkedIn, all these places have job postings where they're looking for certain skills. So if you're a designer, you can look for design jobs. If you are a email copywriter, like I just mentioned, you can look for email marketing, email copywriting jobs. These are companies who are showing intent. They're saying, I wanna pay somebody to do this for me. And this is a great way to get your first few clients is to apply on these job boards like Upwork, LinkedIn, Craigslist, AngelList, uh, any place that you're seeing job postings. So that's step number three, getting paid for the skill. And that's basically going out, getting a client. Step four is to get a case study for that skill. So everyone always talks about getting clients, but you have to get results for your clients if you wanna stay in business. If you are getting client after client and you're not getting them results, your reputation is going to be out there as someone who doesn't get results. We don't want that to happen. So we wanna go out, get clients, and of course, the most important thing is to get those clients results so that they give us a testimonial, a review, a case study that we can use for the last step, which is to then get higher paying clients by leveraging the case study that you have. So once you have a case study, you have proof of concept that your stuff works, you can reach out to more businesses that are similar to the one that you got a result for. Let's say that you're working with a certain type of e-commerce store. You can find more e-commerce stores like them and reach out and say, hey, we got this e-commerce store here, this dog store, this type of results, these types of sales with our emails. How about we see if we can help you in any way? And by doing this, once you have case studies, you can increase your prices. It's a lot easier to get clients and you'll be able to get clients coming to you because you'll be posting your results and people can see what you can do for other businesses that they want you to do it for them. So really simple. That's how you start a service-based business. I have a service-based business called Growth Response. We do email copywriting and does multiple six figures a year since 2017, 2018. And it followed these five steps to get started, right? Learn a money-making skill practice that money-making skill, get good at it, get paid for that skill by going out and getting clients, get a case study once you've delivered results for the client, and then also use that case study to get better and higher paying clients. And this is how you can go from zero to four to five to six figures uh, in as little as 12 months, right? You can get to a six figure business in 12 months if you really put your, your nose to the ground and go out and start doing the steps here. So even if you are just getting started as a beginner, you can see how there's pretty much zero risk to you if you start off a service business this way because it doesn't really cost you much other than your time to get started. You're reaching out to businesses, it doesn't cost you anything to do that. You're learning a skill if you're doing something like email copywriting, it doesn't cost you anything to do that. And once you're getting results, it's, it's a lot easier to get better, higher paying clients by leveraging those results when you're doing more and more outreach. So if you'd like to learn more about email copywriting specifically, building an online service-based business around that, Make sure that you join my free Facebook group. Go to emailrainmaker.com. It's going to take you straight there. And it's going to show you all about how to start, grow, and scale your business using email marketing, email copywriting. So I hope this was helpful for you guys on the fastest and what I believe is the simplest way to get started making money online this year and grow to six figures and beyond in 12 months or less. This is the blueprint right here. This is what I tell anybody who asks me, how would I get started building a six-figure business? What's the fastest way to do that? This is it right here. So hope that was helpful. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.